In this video, we will show you how to program an external fault function on the ATV312 drive. So the external fault, first of all, is basically a permissive or some kind of safety function where in the event that a logic input gets a signal, 24 DC signal on the corresponding logic that you program it to, it will go ahead and fault out the drive on an external fault. So let's go ahead and see how it's programmed, first of all. Uh, what you want to do is go ahead and press enter from your main display menu. And you want to scroll down to fault menu, FLT dash, enter. Now you have to find the ETF parameter, okay? This is your external fault. Enter. Now, from the factory, this is not programmed to any logic in, but it's actually assigned to no. But we can go ahead and assign to whatever you want. Uh, so let's just say we want LI6 logic input 6 to be your external fault assignment. So that in the event that LI6 gets a 24 DC signal, it'll go ahead and um, give the driver fault code when you're running or when it's in general. It doesn't matter if it's running or not. So let's go ahead and uh, program as LI6 as an example. Once that's done, you can actually escape back out to your main screen. Now we can try to run it. So let's go ahead and run it. We can simulate it here. And it can ramp up to whatever speed you want. And now I'm gonna go ahead and toggle my logic input six to trigger that fault. And as you can tell, the drive gave you an EPF fault code, which is external fault. And it stopped the drive. And um, to get rid of this fault, it basically is treated like any kind of any, any other fault you'll have to power cycle the drive, so you have to kill power to it and wait until your display is blank and once it is blank assuming that your uh, external fault is not turned on still it should go back to uh, a ready or NSC function depending on what is happening so this is basically how you set up a safety or an external fault function on the ATV312 drive